All right, my friends, welcome to Tech Hard again. I'm glad that you pressed that watch button. I want to chat with you tonight about a computer subject that's really close to my pitter patter pitter, baby. BBSs, or bulletin board systems. You've all probably heard about them, maybe. Uh, they were how we connected to other computers back in the 80s, 90s, and early aughts until the internet came through and smashed them to oblivion. Sit back, enjoy a little montage, and I hope that after this video, you will find the BBS community just as inviting, fun, and interactive as I do. Let's go, Tech Heart. Boom!
All right, Tech Carters, did that get you interested in what BBSs are? Where they came from? Where are they today? Well, first off, let's learn a tiny bit more about BBSs. Here's Wikipedia for bulletin board systems. A bulletin board system, also called a bulletin board service, was a computer server running software that allowed users to connect to the system using a terminal program. Back in the DOS days, we might have used Telex or Telemate, or a little bit later there was a really cool one called Terminate. You'd connect to a BBS computer using a terminal software. BBSs have message networks and local message bases where you can post, reply, and read messages from other users. One of the biggest ones, or types, are called FidoNet message networks. Those used to allow dial-up BBSs that use the phone lines uh, to be connected by making hops all around the world. You would hop to your local area code, maybe just a little bit farther. It would take a few days after FidoNet worked its magic. Your message could go from the United States on over to England, making a bunch of hops through many, many BBSs. There's also online games called door games, and some of those are networked too. I got into BBSing in the early 90s. They were invented, I believe, in the 80s by Ward Christensen, who wrote CBBS BBS software. And uh, they are really fun and offer a lot of community. And I wanted to teach you guys how to connect to BBSs today. TechHeart runs a BBS, and there are several hundreds others that are still active and in use in 2024. Let me show you a couple softwares that you can use to access BBSs. The best one and the most rounded is SyncTerm. You can just go to SyncTerm's website and click the download tab. It'll try to read your OS and I'm on Mac OS here, so it's gonna download SyncTerm 1-1 OS X. And it's as simple as that. They have Windows, Macintosh, and Linux versions. For Linux, you might have to build from source, and I'm gonna show you that at the end of this video. Now, let's say you're on an iPhone or an iPad. Well, there's a new software that came out, I don't know, six months ago, called Muffin Term. It's pretty cool. It has some different nostalgic things, like you can do CRT curvature or scan lines or simulate a modem speed. And it's just available through the App Store. You can click on the App Store on an iPad or uh, an iOS device, and you can download Muffin Term. Pretty simple, and it's actually pretty good. So that one's Muffin Term. <clears throat> Another very popular one is Netrunner. There is a BBS software, Mystic BBS software. That's what TechHeart runs its bulletin board system on. But Netrunner is from the same developer that created Mystic, and SyncTerm is from the same developers that make Synchronet BBS software. But anyway, on the Mystic uh, website, you can go to Downloads, and you'll find over here Netrunner, and you can download that for Windows or Linux, both 32-bit and 64-bit. So if you want to run on Linux without compiling, you can grab Netrunner. It's a very great terminal software also. So I guess I can show that install. We'll pull up Finder here. And I'll go to this um, downloads on this Mac computer. We see right there sync term. You can just double click that. It's already installed here. It just exports it. And right there, you have sync term that you can run. As I said, it's already installed here, so I can pull it right up. This is sync term. And these are some of my very favorite BBSs. 24 beers is the tech heart board. Absinthe is what I think is the best bulletin board in the world. You can find bulletin boards for other computer platforms, like Anarchy Underground is a Commodore platform board. They have different graphics. IBM PC Base use ANSI. Amiga uses Amiga Font, Micro Knight, Mosul, or Topaz. And Commodore uses Petsky. I could show you the Commodore one real quick. Let's dial in. Well, here, we'll dial into the Frozen Floppy. That's another really cool Commodore board. So this is Petsky Graphics. There are still hundreds of BBS users, possibly in the thousands. TechHeart's BBS, 20 for Beers, has right around a thousand users. So I could log in, give it your handle, uh, or you can just type new to make a new account. Now remember, Frozen Floppy right here is running on a real Commodore, um, or sometimes they run on like the Ultimate 64. 
so it's not super fast. So this is a Commodore BBS, and you can get on here and access their message forums. I think they're called subs on Commodore boards. Yes, yeah, sub message boards. Some Commodore boards don't have a lot of uh, files for download. You know, they use disk drives or whatnot. But some BBSs have huge archives of retro files, 20 for beers included. If you have a retro computer platform and you're hunting for software and you wanna have a fun way to do it, come on by 20. We got a huge collection. Uh, let's list the available subs. And these are all the different message areas that you could access, make posts in, and talk to people in on the frozen floppy board. Where's talk, scene talk, codes talk, BBS's talk, movie talk. You got all the talk you want, baby! Boom! Let's log off the frozen floppy. Yeah, we're bugging out. Oops. We're bugging out. See ya. Now that was Petsky Graphics. Let's check out Amiga. I think you saw some of this in the montage, but again, Absinthe is my very favorite bulletin board of all time. It's ran by a guy named Anachronist, and he does a lot for the BBSM community, releasing mods for BBS softwares, just being a good member of the BBS community. You really get to meet a lot of people. And somewhere in the video or in the video description, I will post a dozen or so of the top peer BBSs. And I don't know all of them. There's communities all over, but I really invite you to install one of these terminal softwares and come join the fun. So I can log in here on the Absent BBS. And again, this is using Amiga graphics. Notice the difference in characters up there. I think Absent uses the Amiga Topaz plus font. But we didn't win. We could have won the lottery. Anst or Anachronist has modded this software. This is actually CNET BBS software. And when you download a stock version of CNET, it is literally like nothing. It, it's just text. So while this might not seem, you know, like World Wide Web graphics, this is amazing what Anst has accomplished and the art that he's put into this. So this is Absinthe BBS, and these are Amiga font graphics. We'll just get through the login process. Absinthe does have files for the Amiga platform. And when you log in, it'll show you all the new files since your last call. And he has a good flow of Amiga software that comes through on a daily and weekly basis. I don't want to clear those because I want to read them later. And you can read messages, but you saw that in the montage. So this right here is Absinthe BBS. I'll show one more thing. If you do call boards, you need to come by Absinthe and play both Sky Raiders and Skullhack. Skullhack is a modification of NetHack, updated with all killer graphics by Anst. And Sky Raiders could be one of the best BBS door games ever. You play as a Korean war pilot and the graphics are killer. You fly planes, you dogfight, you bomb war targets, and you even do ground missions all around the Korean War. I have a video of a deep dive playing Sky Raiders. You can find it on our YouTube channel. All right, so I'm gonna log off here. I know I can just type off. And get out of there. See you later, Absinthe. Now to show you a PC or IBM based board, let's pick a good one here. Uh, there's so many, Bottomless Abyss is, is just awesome. Distortion's killer. Danger Bay has a door game museum with some, I think 10,000 door games, historical BBS door games. The largest collection I've ever found. Ink 2 is by one of the best ANSI artists out there, Smooth, and it has great art. You saw some of it in the montage earlier. 
Level 29 is kind of neat. It's all text-based and is built to access with actual retro hardware. Anything that you can connect to Telnet, any hardware at all, even going back as far as an 8088 or anything, log into level 29 and they'll get you. Quantum Wormhole, a board that's run by a guy named Meat Lotion, is one of the most prolific uh, BBS sysops and he helps this community a lot. Sarayan is a really good door game themed board. If you want to get into a tournament or play Lord, Legend of the Red Dragons or other popular door games, Sarayan is a killer one. Slackers is, well, not really a newcomer anymore, but Slackers uh, is a really cool board and the people that call Slackers are a tight-knit group of guys and Slackers has great comic-related art and is a killer board. The cave's been around since 92. I think we're gonna call Bottomless Abyss today. It's just so well and put together. So this is a PC-based example. Stack Fault is the sysop here. He wrote MRC, which is an IRC-like BBS chat platform. And his board mainly focuses around security. So let me log in here. You can log in invisibly here. Like I said, he wants privacy and security uh, over everything. So as long as you're registered, you can log in invisibly so nobody can even see that you did log in. And I wanna do a normal login so that you can see. And these are ANSI graphics. This is PC based as stated. These are all the groups that he's, his board is a member of. This is the Hackfest official bulletin board. Once a year he has like capture the flag events and one starts on December 15th. So get on by Bottomless Abyss and uh, you can join the CTF this year. I'll show that really quick. If we go to events and contests, we can type C, I think, in general information. Welcome to the Bottomless Abyss CTF. The contest has two categories. The first is challenge solving oriented, where you must compete CTF-like challenges to get points. Let's find the information on this. When is it? Okay, there's none available. If you look on the bottom there, contest starts in three days. So come on back and jump in a CTF on this old technology. We're still BBSing in 2024. All right, so those are a few boards that are really great. Examples of Amiga, PC, and Commodore based. You can also find Atari boards. You can find Apple IIe boards. Any old retro hardware that was around or used still has BBSs. I made this list of about 25 just for this video. But if you go to the Telnet BBS guide that I'll throw on screen, there's thousands of boards that you can still access. Now, do you remember how I said uh, on Linux, you might have to build from source um, sync term? I'm gonna show you how to do that. And actually, I'm gonna use one of Meat Lotion's blog posts. Like I said, he's really a great member of this community and he's written this how-to, how to install sync term for Linux from source. And this is Ubuntu based. I'm just gonna run through it really quick. I think I have down here a VM all set up. Yeah, here we go. Get in here. This is simply an Ubuntu VM, bone vanilla stock. I just installed it for this video only. What you're able to do is you can just come over here and copy and paste, really. Ooh, I don't think I'll be able to copy and paste into here, but we'll try. This is a Mac, maybe I'll be surprised. No, it ain't gonna let me. Well, all right, we're gonna have to get old school. So, we're gonna do, we'll clear it. sudo apt install wget libin curses 5-dev libin curses w5-dev gcc lib SDL 1.2-dev, I almost have these memorized, <laughs> and build essential. These are the prerequisites for sync term. If you're on Arch Linux, I just go to Google and, and search for, you know, Arch Linux libcurses5-dev, and you'll find their counterparts over there. So that's grabbing all those prereqs, and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, now I'm gonna move into my downloads folder because I'm gonna run wget http syncterm.bbsdev.net slash syncterm-source.tgz. 
We'll grab that file. Now we'll do tar xdzf on oops, sync term dash source, and that'll unpack it. And then we'll just move into sync term and the date slash source slash sync term. This is where we'll build from. Now we'll set one variable, st underscore path equals cache, and we'll do parentheses, keyword bar said quote s slash back slash sync term cache slash slash g quote <laughs> brackets. But like I said, Meat Lotion has all these commands printed out for you. Now we'll run our first make command. It'll be make source underscore root equals that st underscore path variable we just created. That just tells it to build from you know two subdirectories back. I'll catch you when that's done. Boom! Okay, with that build finished, we can clear the screen anyway. And now, all we do is sudo make install. That installs sync term on the system. We can test that with which sync term. Okay, it shows it. So now we should be able to pull up uh, Ubuntu or GNOME's thing and search for it. And right there you'll see, sync term is installed. Ready to rock and roll. The last thing we'll talk about today, I'm gonna show you what I do on BBSs. So, I'll call the tech card board to show this to you. Let me pull that over there. And we're gonna dial up 20 for beers. It's an animation that a guy named Max Mouse made for me. What ante is gonna pop up? I have several for the login screen. Let's see, I gotta press escape twice. Yup, oh, this one's by Max Mouse too. Uh, there are several great ante screens that were designed by really cool artists who are still drawn in ANSI 35 years later. I'm gonna skip through this. I don't even wanna show any of my login information, but I'll be right back when I'm past this screen. All right. So we can either rocket login and jump past all the stuff, which I'm gonna do. I think I showed the long login in the montage. We're blasting off. Let's go with that ANSI animation, Rockstar. <laughs> no reading emails to date. Okay, so here you're at the main menu. I normally check my messages first, not email, but um, there's different kind of message uh, conferences. There's locals. These are messages that are only on 20 for beers, uh, bulletin board, they're local. They don't go anywhere else. But all these underneath, FSXnet, which is fun, simple, experimental net, ArachNet, DoveNet. Uh, ArachNet is like the underground or scene related. You have to be invited to join this. Um, DoveNet is the Synchronet BBS software network. TQWNet is by Meat Lotion and the Quantum Wormhole. RetroNet's for retro hardware, and on and on and on. WWIVNet is for BBS software, WWIV. ZeroNet's a cool scene uh, network. Anyway, we'll just check the local bases today. We'll say new, N, and G for the local group. Nope, oh, there's no new messages. I'll show you some, I'll search for all. Uh, so these are new messages on FSX. Oops, I've got one. Sherado sent me one about the For Honor door. Someone just released a new version of For Honor. It's a RPG type door game. And a new version came out. And they're starting a new inter-BBS league where you play door games that are linked up with several boards, BBSs. And Sherado said, come by Sherado's Heavenly Sphere uh, that's where I can join a For Honor game and play on the InterVVS League. So that was a message to me. And then you'll see there's many other messages from users around several BBSs. I think FSXNet has over 100 bulletin boards that are networked together. So those are messages. Um, even though with the World Wide Web, files really, you know, downloading files on a BBS isn't the fastest way of getting stuff, I have a huge archive here at 20. So if I press J, these are all different conferences or different collections of um, files. So there's ROMs, there's Amiga software, MSX software, Commodore software, BBS and DOS collection, Atari software, Amstrad CPC software, Apple II, ZX Spectrum, and more and more and more and more. Tech documents, uh, this huge collection of retro tech documents. These are the local files and I can push A. These are all different areas or file areas in that locals conference. So this is just one 
of those 50 or so conferences you saw. Let's go into the DOSBox demo scene file area and we can do a list. We'll get into demo scene files. And these are all different, mostly DOS based demos you can download. There's Second Reality by Future Crew. 8088 MPH, 8088 Corruption. These are all killer demos or demos that I personally like. And at any rate, these are files that you can download. There's another Assembly 1993 Invitation by Future Crew. You can view it. You can see what's inside of that archive. You can download it if you like. So those are file areas. ANSI is a big part of BBSing. It's the graphics that you see on screen right now. So here there's a ANSI collection. I guess I could show. Here's all the 20 for beers ANSIs. Here's a great one by Smooth, who's basically famous in the ANSI scene. Let's view it. Smooth made this for us, uh, I think last year. It was awesome. Here's one by an artist named Nitron. There'll be all sorts of information in the um, description below of great boards. And hopefully you guys will come on by and check out what we got going on. Then there's the door games. From the main menu, we can press D. Here's local games, but most people play on networked games so that you can play with many different users of many different BBSs. My favorite door server is called Door Party. You can log in or it'll connect for us. Let's connect to Door Party. Uh, he says, Lord has been reset after Jade defeated the dragon. Hurry up and join. Lord's one of my favorite doors. And so anyway, here's Door Party. And it has, uh, I don't know, more than 100 doors that you can play. If I go into RPG Doors 1, there's Darkness 2.0, number one right there. That's a fairly new, within five years or so, cyberpunk kind of RPG game written by a guy named Jack Flash of Distortion BBS. It's killer and has great ANSI, much better than the old door games, you know, from back in the day. Lord right there, you can play with ANSI or RIP graphics. RIP never really blew up, but it was vector-based graphics that were better than ANSI, or you could do more with them. Trade Wars 2002. A lot of you might remember that. We can go to the Door Party Trade Wars. This was a killer space game that we used to play. And so those are door games. On a door game network. You might think BBSs are really old. If I push L for last callers, people are still dialing every day. I mean, there you can see just on 12.9, uh, about 30 or 35 callers. So if you're wondering about this community, I hope that this video helped you be able to grab software that you need. And there's, all, there's also a lot more that you can do, but I just showed you messages, files, and door games. I told you about the chat, there's MRC chat. You can come in here, chat with other users. Right now there's one, two, three, four, five people in here, but we have meetups at set times. We've had as many as I think like 30 active chatters. If I type slash BBSs, this is all the boards that are connected right now to MRC chat, 103 of them. I'm gonna log off, 20. All right.